today we're going to be talking about detoxification and we're going to go ahead and uh, also make an herbal tea blend using herbs that support the body in detoxifying. So the reason we're doing this talk right now, and this is usually a springtime talk, everybody wakes up in the spring and <laughs> wants to go detoxify their bodies, but um, honestly, I've had so many people come into my clinic office here down in our little town and ask me about what do I take to detoxify my body? And <laughs> then I kind of stutter around because there's no one thing that's going to detoxify your body. So let's go ahead and, and just talk about that really fast. And then we'll, we'll get into this tea blend that supports your body's detoxification systems. And that's a bit of a different thing, but it's very, very important. Why would a person want to detoxify their body? Like, why would somebody even consider this, right? <laughs> what is, what's going through somebody's head when they say, can you detoxify me? So there's a number of different reasons why people are interested in detoxification. One of them uh, is ha happens to do with the environmental pollutants and toxins. Uh, some ha happen to do with personal body care products. We know that there are endocrine disruptors and carcinogens in many of our body care products today that are legal in the U.S. and they are illegal in other countries and yet we still are putting them on our bodies and on our children's bodies and now our body has to work extra hard to try to get rid of them. Uh, so there's that going on. There's water supply, uh, tainted water here and there. Our food, which is filled with chemicals, causes some issues with many of us. And then, of course, there's your substance abuse uh, detoxification programs and that has more to do with actually uh, helping the body get off of those substances but that's another reason. Another thing is heavy metals. Uh, some people are interested in making sure that they don't have those heavy metals that are being stored in their bodies anymore and I'm not going to mention the thing that everybody is all concerned about right now but as we know uh, some people uh, decided to take some something recently in the last couple of years that might end up causing some people to be concerned about toxins in the body. So everybody wants to know, what's the magic pill, right? What's the magic thing I can do to detox the body? The fact is, uh, nothing except supporting your body. And that's because our body is amazingly designed with a detoxification system already. It, it's beautifully made. Our bodies are wonderfully and beautifully made by our creator, and all we have to do is support our body. So let's go ahead and talk through some of the organ systems that help us in this detoxification process. So number one would be the liver. The liver is probably the most important organ when it comes to filtering out toxins and metabolizing even certain drugs that we take and uh, different chemicals that are we give our bodies. So the liver is very, very important. And we'll talk about how some of these herbs can actually support the liver. Another detoxification organ is the kidney, are the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for helping to filter out toxins that end up excreted in the urine. And so the kidneys are also very, very important. Some people think that the skin is a detoxification organ because when we perspire, the thought is, hey, I must be perspiring toxins. And the fact of the matter is, is that the skin, although it might, you know, might emit some minor, uh, very small molecular particles through the skin, uh, primarily the skin is there to just get rid of and flush out excess fluids and things like that. Uh, the lymphatic system is another part of our detoxification system and this is where we've got our lymph nodes all over our body and um, our lymphatic system is doesn't have a pump and it doesn't have it's not like the circulatory system but it helps to move and filter out uh, microorganisms that are dangerous and other toxins and they end up in the bloodstream and then they, there they go um, out of the body through the liver primarily and the kidneys. Uh, another detoxification organ that's very important is the immune system. So the, our immune system is amazing, really. It, it's just unbelievable. So our immune system goes to work 
and it identifies invaders in our body. And th these are things that are not supposed to be there. They can be microorganisms that are potentially dangerous, and they can be chemicals too. They can be allergens. The immune system goes to work and lights up, you know, a red alert signals everywhere, and that helps the other organs go to work and get those microorganisms out of the body. So, and that happens through a number of different mechanisms. Obviously, this is not an anatomy and physiology class, and I'm not going deeply into all of this, but it, essentially, this is how these detoxification organs work. Finally, we have our respiratory system. And our respiratory system, primarily our lungs, is pretty excellent at getting rid of certain uh, microbes and, and gases and things like that. So obviously we inhale oxygen, we exhale the waste, which is CO2. We can exhale other kinds of wastes as well. And then there are little hair-like uh, formations in our lungs called cilia that also help push out invaders and things that don't belong. So our lungs are another system that we need to consider supporting when we're talking about detoxifying the body. All right, I wanna just mention too that there are things we can do normally that are going to impact and support these detoxification systems and these detoxification organs that we have already working for us in our body. So eating a healthy diet, is one thing you can do. Uh, avoiding toxins like uh, alcohol and different substance, substances that people like to take, even sugar, sh maybe especially sugar. <laughs> sugar is just terribly bad for us, highly addictive. I would put it in the category of a drug, actually. So avoiding um, things like that, avoiding processed foods that have mystery ingredients that you don't know what they are, trying to eat whole good foods. Proper hydration is another thing. If you are drinking enough water and um, flushing out those toxins or helping your body to flush out those toxins. Uh, proper hydration is extremely important. And then of course there's exercise. Exercise and movement helps support that lymphatic system that we just talked about. And then sleep helps our organs to recuperate during the night and it helps our body go to work to make repairs and that further supports our body's detoxification system. So now we're gonna go ahead and talk about some specific herbs. And I've got a little lineup here of seven herbs that I just love and there's others. I'm actually gonna talk about a special one that's not included here and I'm going to talk about why it's not included too. And you might be surprised, but anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and dig into these herbs that support the body's detoxification uh, systems and organs. The first one we're going to discuss very quickly is ginger. And I love ginger in any of my liver support uh, preparations. And this could be teas or tinctures or, you know, however I decide to um, administer them. But ginger is wonderful and in, in fact, in one study, in one clinical study, and I have a feeling at this point there's many others too, ginger uh, actually <clears throat> made a significant difference in the amount of fat in the liver um, in study participants who were using ginger versus those who were not. So isn't that exciting? Mm, I love the smell of it too. <laughs> Gotta smell my ginger. No, but really um, just adding some ginger to your daily diet can be extremely helpful for supporting your liver. So next up, we've got nettle root. Nettle root is a, another excellent liver supporting herb. It actually can help reduce inflammation in the liver. So nettle root's a nice one to add to your blend. Next up, we've got dandelion root over here. Dandelion root, I love I love dandelion root. It's in fact I love dandelion the whole plant. It's amazing. But dandelion root specifically it helps with the digestive process and it stimulates bile and that helps the liver function better. Dandelion root is also well known to help repair a damaged liver. So if you are a person maybe who's got some cirrhosis or although that's pretty far gone, but fatty liver, things like that, dandelion, um, in, especially in conjunction with some of these other herbs can be very, very helpful in that regard. Dandelion root has been used for literally thousands of years to help support the liver in many, many different cultures and countries. So it's got a long history of traditional use too. All right, next up, we've got burdock root. You know, we couldn't 
get away without putting burdock <laughs> into this tea. I actually did a video on burdock root uh, tincture and I'm gonna link to it right up here uh, if my editor remembers. <laughs> and you're going to be able to learn more about burdock root and how it supports the digestive system as well as your liver and many, many other body organs. But burdock is exceptional as a liver supporting herb and it's one I just wouldn't do without. So it is definitely going in this herbal tea. Next up we've got, let's see, what have we not talked about here? <laughs> Astragalus root. So astragalus root is actually an adaptogen herb and it's wonderful. An adaptogen herb is an herb that gets into your body and it helps balance things out to an extent and it helps the body cope with the stress response. Now astragalus, they all work differently by the way. You can't just say oh an herb is an adaptogen so it does these things. They all act differently in different ways but they do you know, they're balancing in similar ways. So that's why they are classified as adaptogens. Now, astragalus root is really helpful for the immune system. So I really love adding it to this herbal tea blend specifically to support the immune system health. Next up is cardamom seed. Now, cardamom, you wouldn't think of it necessarily as a detoxification herb, but I just wanna say that all of these spices that come from places like uh, the Middle East or you know, uh, India, places like that, like clove and uh, you know, cardamom, ginger, turmeric, these are all really beautiful herbs to add to your diet on a daily basis and they all can support detoxification too. There have been clinical studies done on cardamom seed and one study actually showed that the participants who took the cardamom actually had significantly improved liver markers over the period of time that the study took place as opposed to those who were not on taking the cardamom. So I thought that was pretty interesting too. Finally, in this, this beautiful bright orange jar <laughs> is one of my favorite herbs. This is orange peel and you could also use lemon peel, but this is a bitter herb and the bitter herbs definitely help go to work and support the digestive system as well as the liver. So we've got all these lovely herbs and now we're going to make an herbal tea. And one thing I want to say is that, you know, a lot of people feel like you can just go to the store and buy a little herbal tea packet, plop it into your water, steep it, and that's gonna be your healthy drink, right? <laughs> it doesn't quite work like that. So first of all, the herbal teas that you find in the grocery stores are probably old and oxidized and they're not going to be of the highest quality. Your best bet is to find loose leaf teas. So. I really love my loose leaf teas, teas. And one of my friends, Sian over at Farmhouse Teas has a really a lot of really wonderful blends uh, over there. So if you wanna buy them, uh, go check out her site. I will link to it below. Um, but she's a, a wonderful friend of mine and she's been blending herbal teas for many, many years uh, for different reasons, mainly for pleasure. I think most of her teas are, are you know for pleasure, but she's got a lot of immune boosting herbs and things like that. So anyhow, let's go ahead and talk about these. We've got root right? Uh, burdock root, nettle root, dandelion root, ginger is a rhizome, it's considered a root, and astragalus root. And then we've got seeds, we've got cardamom seeds, and we also have peel, which is dried. So note that this is what is so interesting that the roots and the seeds, these harder herbs, are wonderful for the liver. Um, and one herb I didn't even talk about because it's not going in this tea blend, and I'm going to explain why, is milk thistle. And that's also a seed. Milk thistle seed contains a chemical called silymarin, and it is extremely liver supportive. It's a hepatoprotective, so it protects the liver as well. So I love, I love milk milk thistle as a viable option. However, you need to know this. Milk thistle in an herbal tea blend won't work, <laughs> okay? It just won't work. And the reason is, is that the silymarin isn't soluble in water. So therefore, you need to tincture it and you will get some of the compounds. But the best way to take milk thistle, if you wanna take milk thistle as a, as a liver support, is just to ingest it. So you can buy capsules at the herb store or you can just get the milk thistle seed in a powdered form and take that in your smoothie every day. But milk thistle is amazing. But it won't, it's not going in the tea blend because it will be useless 
useless, okay? So you need to know these things. If you go to the store and you find um, an herbal tea blend on the shelves and it says milk thistle, they're 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 tricking you <laughs> either that or they don't know what they're doing so anyhow just wanted to throw that out there Alrighty, so i'm going to go ahead and use a scoop of burdock root i think i'm just going to do equal parts on this one right now and then make make some adjustments for taste and a part is whatever you decide uh, your measurement is for your herbal tea and in this case i'm using a one-third cup scoop that's one of the reasons why I'm just using one part here. So I just put one part of my burdock root. This is um, one part of my dandelion root. This is one part of my orange peel. So beautiful. And this is kind of a brown tea. You can see by the colors of the roots, but that's okay. Um, it's still gonna be very pretty, but I love how this orange, orange peel makes it pop. And you know, everybody wants to look at their tea and go, oh, it's so beautiful, <laughs> right? And that's why a lot of people like me, I like to put flowers and things into my herbal teas because they're so beautiful. This is my ginger. All right. This is my nettle. Very lovely. And this is a good tea just to drink. Drink a cup every day and just drink it up as a tonic. It's wonderful. My astragalus root. Okay. And my cardamom. So when you add all of these, the spices especially, like the the uh, ginger and the cardamom you're, and the orange, you're going to have a beautiful... Uh, kind of a chai tasting tea, which is really nice. And when you mix some of these roots in there, you kind of get this, I want to say it's almost like a gingerbread flavor. And that's what I really love about this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up. So you might be wondering, do you just prepare this just like another herbal tea <laughs> where you just take a couple of teaspoons and put them into a little infuser and drop them into a mason jar and pour boiling water over and let it steep? And I'm gonna say, if you wanna let it steep overnight, you're probably going to get a good tea. But if you are wanting to make a cup of tea like this and you need it done, you wanna drink it right away, then you probably should be doing a decoction. Now a decoction is when you take a bit of herb and I'm gonna say about um, maybe an eighth of a cup or so, maybe a little bit more. I like my tea strong anyway, per quart of water and then you want to just simmer that water for about 30 minutes or so and then go ahead and strain off the liquid and then that's you're going to be your herbal tea very powerful very strong but it's going to help break doing a decoction is going to help break the roots and the seeds down a lot better than just steeping is so that's what i would suggest for this and i wanted to show you what this looks like over here look how gorgeous that is isn't that just beautiful so so beautiful all right and to store this tea i'm going to go ahead and just put it into a mason jar with a nice lid and put it in a cool dark place this is actually going to come home with me and i think i'm going to be drinking this um every evening for a little while <laughs> all right i'm heidi villegas with healing harvest homestead and i hope you enjoyed this quick video on detoxification. And next time you want to go into an herbalist's office and say, hey, what do you have that can detoxify my body? You will now know that you, this that's a loaded question. <laughs> and there's a lot that goes into it. So enjoy this herbal tea blend. Make some up for the holidays. It's really a beautiful tea for the holidays too. All right. I'll see you in the next video. But before I go, I want to invite you to take advantage of a couple of my free gifts. So you can get my uh, Herbal Remedies for Animals guide, and this does include information on some essential oils as well. These are some of my five favorite broad use remedies, and uh, you can get this for free. I also have my free Herbal Remedy guide for people, and 
then I've got my how to relax using herbs and oils. So if you don't have any of these guides, they are all free for you. You just need to click the link and I'll put the links uh, in the description and also in the first comment box so you can find them there. And I welcome you to the community. I hope you'll subscribe, like, share, comment, all those good things because it helps us out. All right. Love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.